For more than 20 years, what has made people fall in love with Trivikram Srinivas and his lines so much? Perhaps it was because in him we saw the dream of a writer going on to become a successful director. Or that he is not merely a good writer but also someone who makes us laugh. Or maybe it is because he told us non-preachy stories. Personally, I have always felt that his sense of humor shines the brightest in collaboration with Mahesh Babu. And after more than a decade, the duo are back. So, how is Guntur Karam? Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. You are watching Not At All A Review. My name is Radha Ranjan. This week's movie is Guntur Karam. <laughs> Guntur Karam is Trivikram Srinivas light version. Perhaps he was foreshadowing this himself with the simplicity of the movie's title. Most of his films borrow from literature and mythology like Ala Jubilee Hills Puramlo or uh, Interval Bank Ki Dare De. This movie is called Guntur Karam, probably his way of asking us to temper our expectations. The story of the film is yet another peek into the Trivikram universe, a child estranged due to an unfortunate incident and his journey towards his origin story, his roots. Ramana's mother left when their father was put in jail. Ramana was brought up in Guntur, taking care of the family's chilly business. He is called to Hyderabad to sign some papers and this kicks off the proceedings. Even in terms of characterization, we get the same palette. A manic pixie dream girl heroine, another heroine who is just at home, you know, just in case, like a super sub. A rich man with an evil plan and a useless son in the city, this time Rahul Ravindran gets to bear the brunt. In the 90s and 2000s, Trivikram's films had beautiful scenes where the hero flirts with the ladies. You know, those scenes had a charm, a certain grace to them. But maybe we as a people have become more brazen these days because the romantic scenes, especially when the hero refers to the girl as Figaro, to her face, it kind of seems outdated. Even the themes of family, of one-sided parental love, a child raising himself the hard way seem like patents of the director. But here is something to ponder. Perhaps our films don't need to be deep anymore. When the loudest cheers come at the title credits, when the biggest applause comes at a meme reference or a nostalgic reference, maybe movies aren't about feelings anymore, but rather about moments. Perhaps someone told Guruji this because he packs in enough moments into Guntur Karam. Ajay features in a very funny cameo. Trivikram takes his time with the comedy scenes and seems to be rushing through the emotional ones as if they are an unavoidable byproduct. Trivikram saves all his firepower for his star. Mahesh Babu is in fine comic timing and Trivikram channelizes his screen presence to make even the repetitive action scenes watchable. The other actors get a raw deal though. Sri Lala thankfully gets a meatier role than the usual India has got talent episode kind of a role that she does. The seniors Prakash Raj and Ramya Krishna are hamming and underplaying respectively. Meenakshi Chaudhary is outstanding in the sense that cinema matam bite an inch on the papam. When Atadu and Kaleja were made, Mahesh Babu was in his wonderful experimental phase. But now he's too big of a star and in attempting to offer something for everybody, the film becomes a full plate meal instead of a specialist delicacy. We get glimpses of Trivikram Srinivas and we get his jokes and also his mythological references. In some way, this film could be thought of as the story of Karna with the missing Kavacha and Kundala, which here are a good story and screenplay. Guntur Karam is created for Mahesh Babu and Trivikram's fans. And I feel like somewhere we all fall within that Venn diagram. Thank you so much for watching our review of the movie Guntur Karam. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to Film Companion South on YouTube by pressing the bell icon. Thank you so much.